Yeah. So, um... Kevin has a goat. No. I got a goat. Roland has a goat. Sorry, Roland has a goat. Roland has a goat. Its name is Fluffy. He's so cute. Would you like to give me an animal, animal handling check to see how, how well this goat is behaving you? Uh, let's see what my animal handling is to start with. It's plus four. Plus four. 18, 22. Oh, yeah. Dude, that goat's in love with you. <laughs> that, is, <laughs> that goat is smitten, yo. <laughs> like, there are Cupid hearts everywhere. Um, yeah, it'll follow you. Um, so long as you don't delete it into direct danger, it'll, it'll continue mm-hmm. following with you without needing another check. Okay. Um, and which direction did you want to go, left or right? I chose to go left. Okay. And you chose to go north, right? Mm-hmm. So, that I did. And by his map, it looks like her and I are going to run into each other. That is exactly what's happening. Um, you guys um, each, let's just say for a cliche sense, um, you walk through the same uh, doors at the same time. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're just wooden doors with uh, iron bars for you know securing the beams together. Okay. Um, you walk through the doors at the same time. You look at, in a room, and you go, oh, hey, I see you. Meet um, Fluffy. <laughs> uh, you, you also see you also see four goblins in in the same room run fluffy uh, the, the <laughs> goblins do not have weapons <clears throat> okay what do you guys want to do are the goblins aware of our presence oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> okay um like they were, they were huddled together. And, I want to know two more. doors open around them, and you guys are kind of like, "Hi, guys!" And then you're like, "Oh!" <sighs> so they like break from their huddle, and two of them are staring at you, and the other two are staring at you. And I how far know more. apart are we? So I'm gonna roll a perception. Okay. Okay. Thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. Uh, you notice that the goblins oh, are. Oh, man. <laughs> the the goblins are like huddled together um there doesn't seem to be any other entrances or exits okay um in these these rooms there is a center column uh in this with uh brazers on each of the four sides is okay. I, if if you're a fan of architecture these are ionic columns which is breaking from the normal thema of the uh the, the architecture of the building. Um, a, a, a Teutonic Gothic style like hallway basically and then suddenly Greek or, I- or Ionian columns. Interesting. Are we able to talk with them? Goblins? What do you want to say? Hi, where are we? <laughs> so no. I got you. I got some yeah, so... And so they're, they're talking to each other for a little bit, and then one of them goes, Not... No! Who are you? I'm rolling. Drum gum! Drum gum! Job gum. Drum gum! His name. Okay, he dropped a goblin. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> Mother drop gum. And okay. <laughs> all friendly here. I'm Kastara. <laughs> I think Bill's the only one who got the joke of his name. <laughs> they called him drum gum because his mother dropped him when he was a baby. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was ignoring it. <laughs> so does that give us a hint of his intellect? <laughs> Uh, it's a goblin. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear his speech patterns? So, uh, he points to his four comrades, and then one at a time he says, Rock and Ishu! Rock and Ishu. Oh. Russia! Rishu! Okay, now that has to be explained, because he's face palming. <laughs> Those are just random names. <laughs> <laughs> he's talking. He's face probably because of the voice. No, um, no. There was a, a video that the creature that they were fighting actually said "Rakanishu." Um, the Rakanishu is a phrase from a goblin in like a video game that I remember. Yeah. Okay. I think it was Diablo. Yeah, Diablo. Goblins. So Rakanishu, Rashana, 
Rishu, nice to meet you. Mm. Can Only you... speak common. And he's pointing to himself. Okay. Mm. Can you <clears throat> tell us common? about anything where we are? We just kind of appeared here. Do you know anything about this place? Proof here, too. No, no. Thinking Shaman Wajiwa. Okay. Have you seen any others? Are you the only ones here? Rakanishu? Rasha? Rishu? Roshana? Rishu? <laughs> Drab <Drum-gum. laughs> <laughs> Have you been to any other rooms yet, or are you just here? Mm, no leave. Why leave? Do you have supplies? No. How do you survive? Just he starts staying dancing. Here? Like he he does this thing where it's just like you know how like little toddlers dance, and he's like lifting one hand, like one leg up, and he's like almost touching the floor with his, his other hand, and then he brings it, his foot down, brings his other foot up, and then almost touches it down. Like this, we do this, and he does that for like, and they start all start doing it. <laughs> I look at her and I say, we need to find the bard an instrument. <laughs> <laughs> you need to find the barn too. I would like to do a perception check of what's around in the room, if anything. Okay, go ahead. Well, that sucked. It's point up because it landed there. Oh, if it's cocked, then just redo it. Oh, that sucks. 11. 11 total? You rolled a 2? I rolled Ooh. a fucking 2. <laughs> You're just on a roll with those terrible rolls that are still above average. You, you have a 5% chance of getting a 10 at a perception check. <laughs> like the ten is the lowest you can possibly get. Yeah, Same that's an initiative, baby. That's insane. That's good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, um, four eleven. What can I notice? Is there um, anything of use? Those goblins are that dance is pretty entrancing. That's well, it. That's what you notice within eleven. That's what you notice. All right. Well, for me right now, this seems like a pretty safe place to be. We. Have goblins here, but they're not aggressive. They don't have weapons, <laughs> and there's only and four they of are them. completely seem to be willing to work together to get out of here too. We're now both alone. Well, actually, they seem to be completely willing to work together to stay put. <laughs> well, I'm not trying to say it out loud in front of them, but they're meat shields, and they could come in handy. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't use my fluffy as a meat shield. No, he's talking about the goblins. Oh, <laughs> not the goblins. If something scary what comes through that door, goblins. I start throwing goblins at. <laughs> There's no, the only doors that are in this room are the doors that you guys have entered I know. from. So I'm thinking it's I'm alone. I just see her in here. We meet up with some goblins. I just went from one to six. Yeah, I'm thinking this is a good thing. Question, so for now, the goblins stay aren't, put or move. The on? goblins aren't going anywhere, so I would recommend staying put. Start dancing, <laughs> okay, <laughs> and seeing if maybe our other people show up. Okay, um, give me a charisma saving throw, both of you. Seriously, seriously, <laughs> <laughs> you're boned, <laughs> rolling screwed. Okay, uh, maybe I not. Rolled I rolled a three and I got a minus two on charisma, so I got a one. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a 16. At least it's not a negative. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I need to find the goblins further. Uh... Bullywog. Bullywog. Come on, man, get out of the demon section, monster manual. What the heck, man? Oh, we're getting closer. There's a lot of demons in there, though. There's so, a lot of demons in there. So many demons. It's like they almost like intended there to be like lots of demons in the monster manual or something. Well, they are considered monsters, aren't they? Yeah, they're also like the go-to. And demon. the guy who was put in charge of creating demons decided to go a little overboard, <laughs> and then cried every time they decided to cut one. No, <laughs> no, that's my favorite. Not the pit fiend. <laughs> mm. Ah, there we go. Goblin. Uh, okay. So I rolled a three. But you got a one. I got a one. You start dancing with him. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm good with that. <laughs> yeah. You're you're, la- you're It's making at- friends. Yeah. Well, I mean, they, they were doing like a shamanistic like 
um, basically like I wondered when you said that it was like really you didn't say enchanting I don't remember what you said but yeah um, but no yeah it was it was definitely like a, a primitive shamanistic like dancing is a great let's way to dance together time. spell <laughs> <laughs> but not spell but not really a spell it's just more of like it's a thing they're doing and you didn't fall for it you're just like what 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 <laughs> What? Why? Can I start turning rocks at him? No. Uh, <laughs> you can do whatever you want. <laughs> well, I found a good way to pass the time. <laughs> what are you guys doing? <laughs> Feed the crap out are, you, are you staying there or do you want to venture forward? You, you're I, at one HP. I, I'm staying there. Okay. As I got a crazy joke and a dance. As it seems. <laughs> I, I poke him every once in a while, but is you know he's dancing. just he's the goat dancer. He's the goat. Yes, let's find that out. Uh, no, <laughs> <laughs> he's the goat. Luffy is doing better than you at resisting the dance. <laughs> Resist it. Maybe, maybe goats, you know, can't dance. Hey, it's fun. What are you going to do? <laughs> he's uh, got four left hooks. So if I'm dancing, saying? he's less likely to come and try eat my clothes, and more likely to eat her clothes. I can't dance. I can't sing. Uh, Phil Collins. Mm. Yeah. Anyways. Brick. Brick. Beating the crap out of some lizards. Lizards. <laughs> okay, let's roll initiative again to see if the pack of lizards go first or if you go first. As it goes off the table. Whoa, whoa, that's only an 11. Whoa. That's I only a rolled a 12. <laughs> you rolled a 2 and you're making fun of me. I, I only got an 11. <laughs> I'm saying I'm the same as you. Except with initiative. Lizard, okay. Slizzard. Okay. Volbis, dude. Okay. Ah, right. So, that's a 12. For their initiative. Okay. So, the pack of lizards go first. There's a whole bunch of them. There's a whole bunch of them. <coughs> there is, in fact... 36 of them. Really? There's eight of them. <laughs> <laughs> Eight's a whole bunch for you? Okay, cool. Awesome. Well, when you roll 2d6 and a d4, and you get eight. Aww. Sad day. Yeah. Um, I thought I was going to be able to grind up to like 20th level here. <laughs> uh, they're each worth 10 experience points. I didn't say I was going to do it quickly. I mean, come on. Boars are worth one experience apiece. Okay. South Park. <laughs> so I think we had that reference in a previous episode. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> it might makes have sense when grinding, though. What do you need? So I'm just rolling. I'm just rolling eight d20s for no reason. The, all of them are trying to attack me. Yeah. You have eight d20s. I think I'm so nine. I, I've got nine. Two, four, six, eight. Okay. I don't nine, mind you eight, having them. Why do you bring them all? 10, 11. So that when I have eight things trying to attack you, I don't have to roll the same die eight times. Yeah, but how many d20s are on the table? For, I mean, a lot. How many, <laughs> how, how, how many d20s are you, you said you have nine? I, have, I think my point's been made. <laughs> I, have, I have 11. Now they're going to try to figure this out. <laughs> Just roll the damn dice. <laughs> <laughs> the name of the episode. <laughs> What's your AC, bro? 18. I rolled two 20s. Ouch. A 19. Ouch. 16. Okay. 14. Okay. 15. The rest okay. don't matter. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. It, those are all flat rolls. Okay. So what's your AC? 18. 18. So the 15, 14 don't count, and the 16 don't count. So three of them hit, two of them are crits. I'm probably going to be toast. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, you're going to take two, four, five piercing damage. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, there's not a die. It's you, you, they deal <laughs> well, one over, piercing damage. That's over half his health, though. Yeah, I'm at four. But he's got ridiculous AC, so he'll, he'll be fine. It's your turn. Okay. You're being swarmed by lizards. How many are in my melee range? Uh, Is it two or more? of them, pretty much. Okay, so it's more than two? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm going to punch the first one. Okay. The one of them in my melee range? That's going to be a dead one. Okay. Uh, 14 to hit. Doesn't matter, they have 2 HP. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like I said, 14 <laughs> to hit. Don't bother rolling damage. And 
That's another dead one with a 14 to hit. Yep. You congratulations! You've earned twenty experience this turn. <laughs> this turn, <is. laughs> um, and that is my turn. <laughs> okay. Um, Punch the lizard. I'm just gonna keep going with you for right now. Okay. And let's finish this out because I don't think you've gotten the spotlight for a while. Man. So let's see. I need to get a nineteen. Eighteen. Eighteen. Well, they all miss. Okay. In fact, I rolled two extra dice than I needed to. Doesn't matter, they all miss. Okay. <laughs> My turn. Um, that's actually going to be two misses. Really? It's a one and a two. Good job. It's for a total of a seven and an eight. Yep. Nope. Not zombies. They're lizards. Yep. So, the <laughs> six... Again, you were giving me a hard time? Absolutely. The six attack you again. I, I, I gotta go with the hefty one now. Uh, they all miss. Okay. I mean, granted, grant I have a... 15% chance to hit him. Oh, yeah. I have much higher percent chance to hit him. Oh, yeah. Um, that's going to be two dead ones. Okay. That's a 23 and a 21. Okay. Yeah, they're dead. <laughs> so, that's 40 experience for this encounter. 50 for your day. <laughs> you getting close to your XP per day <laughs> cap? What? What's my XP per day cap? 300. Oh, okay. <laughs> for characters, yeah, like they have like a, actually they actually have like experience per day. Really? Yeah. In the, in the DMG, they like recommended experience per day for the party. <laughs> cool. Anyways, four. <clears throat> oh, four. That's right. I'll take these two away because it's an eight. Um, but it doesn't matter because my house rolls a ten. Okay. Um, that's gonna be two more dead ones okay. with an eleven and a twenty-five. All right. You know what? Now there's two left. <laughs> um, they're mindless though, so they're just like food. Uh, 17 and a 1. Let me roll, hold on, let me roll this 1. <laughs> does he Does he eat his friend? He, hold on, he's rolling to hit. He eats his friend! <laughs> <laughs> so there's one left? No, he chomps on him. <laughs> oh, wait, and he, and he, right. he bloodies his friend. <laughs> <laughs> there's like half of his spine ripped out. And that person's just going, ah! It's okay, they're both dead. Okay. <laughs> you put them out of their, their lizard misery. Okay, 25 and a 20. Oh. Uh. <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah, dead lizards. Any experience. 90 for the day. Anyways. So where do you want to go? Where do you want to go? I'm going to continue walking forward. You're in a T-intersection. Oh, that's right. You you moved to the. Uh, yeah, I, I I was I'm in the process of traveling north. I was going to say you have north. you yeah. have lizard meat, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> what are you talking about? Because <laughs> he he doesn't eat food. It's true. No no no. Like resource gathering. What are you talking about? <laughs> doesn't matter. Those things have things that are pointy. <laughs> it's true. That's true. <laughs> They have weapons and they have food. And they also have but armor. Would a robotic being with metal <laughs> hands consider taking a bunch of lizards for food and weapon? Would a would a robotic being who's also a monk? No. <laughs> <laughs> so no matter what, they're lost unless we yeah. go back and pick them up later. Yeah. Same, with, uh, same yeah. with Wolfie, though. By the way. Yeah. Like you Didn't can make think you can make before. daggers out of his claws. Interesting. Walking forward. And you can make you can make like a short sword out of his jaw if you break it in half. Anyways, that's like serious. I got a that's serious. That's <laughs> serious. <laughs> he's got horns. Yeah, he's got horns. Are you gonna send him charging at the enemies? Headbutt him. He loves Do you. Do we need enough. to make a character sheet for this goat now? No. Okay. Lou. Yes. Give me a saving throw versus death. <laughs> versus death. Yeah, he's, he's at like, one. Oh, you're at one? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, you're grappled, so you're like, what are you doing? I'm going to try to bash him off again. So you're trying to get it or get no, 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 the grapple? I'm going to cast sleep on it. Okay. What so, are the components of sleep? Uh, sand. Does he have sand in there? It's a dirty floor. Okay. We'll go with yes. Maybe not in its purest form. Five, ten, fourteen, seventeen, nineteen points. Nineteen total? Yep. Okay. What's your health? Um my constitution. Health. Oh, I've got one. You've got one health? Yeah. So if you knock the spider out and have one health remaining, 
on your die, your pool. You're going out, out too, bro. I can sit there and focus it above me. Nah, bro. That's not you, you, you're being grappled by the thing. <laughs> I, I don't see you getting out of that. Okay, then no, I'll just sit there and try and bash it again. Buddy. Well, you already did it. I'm a bastard. Yep, you are. It's in the G section, I just realized. Did you do any damage to it before? No, you didn't. You nope. just didn't. I want to fight a giant seahorse. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Are they more or less intimidating than Nero? Uh, more or less. Oh, I, I actually miscounted. I have 12. One was hiding in my bag. Okay. Uh, so it had, how much did you roll for hit points? 19. Okay, it had 11. So, so you both, both your you out. both fall unconscious. You're you're cuddling the spider, the gentle spider, as if it were a body pillow. I sure hope you're the first to wake up. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> uh, actually, God. you know what, Kevin? You get to pick the higher low for the spider. Oh jeez. Hmm. Um, but don't worry about it for now. Uh, Bill. Yeah. Not Bill. Brick. Yeah. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing good. I mean, I, I, I just killed a bunch of spider, uh, not spider, servants. Little lizard dudes. Little lizards. Not even dudes, just lizards. Okay, little lizards. I mean, they're giant monitor lizard looking things, but they're really weak. Yeah, they, they kind of went squish. They did go squish. Um, I described them a bit bigger than the than the health pool that they had. <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting me to at least have to two punch some, some of them. Yeah. Um, so you're walking north. I'm walking north. And you enter a cavern. Or not a cavern. You enter a room. Um, there is one door to your left. Yes. To your left. Um, in the center of the room, there is a ghostly blue flame. And it, that ghostly blue flame is immediately in front of a ionic, <clears throat> not ionic, ionian pillar. Or a column. Eighteen perception check to see if there's anything else in the room. Uh, there is eighteen perception check for everything in the room. Uh, okay, okay. J- just looking in the room. Just looking in the room. So okay. my you see, um, from where you're standing, you really can't see anything. Other than then, the walls are the same. It's a thirty foot room. Uh, the walls are eight feet tall. The ceiling is made of the same materials. As everything else. The doors are made out of wood and iron. Um, there's iron metal rings in the door frames and the hinges and whatnot are made out of metal. You notice that, uh, there is no dust in this room. So, are there any shadows in this room? Like, corner-wise? Corner-wise. Um. Is, would it be easy to hide in a sh- in the corner? The shadow is, the only shadow in the room is being put off by because remember you really can't see you can see like 10 feet in front of you with your your tor- homemade torch uh, which is like about to burn out but this blue flame in front of you um, is lighting up the room pretty well and the only shadow is the shadow of the Ionian, Ionian column that we lay behind him okay and you said there's one other door in the room to your left yep what is that in relation to the pillar uh, it like in front of the pillar, like is the pillar. So the, the pillar is in the room? center of the room, mm-hmm. and the door is on is ninety degrees to the left on the center of the room. Just it's basically, okay. uh, yeah, it's in the center of the the wall to the left. So you don't have to get close to the flame to move to that door if you don't want to. I'm gonna go to that door. Okay, give me a wisdom saving throw. So that is a 17. 20. 20? 20. Okay, you feel magic start to be cast upon you, um, and you just shrug it off. You're just like, man, bumped at. I ain't got no time for that shit. Dog. Cool. You continue through the door. Okay, you, you open the door, you see a hallway. Um, you keep walking. I'm gonna light another piece of clothing on fire. Okay. 
And continue walking slowly. Okay. Half pace. Uh, okay. You're in the north one, right? Yeah, you find I am now in the north one. Okay, so you come to a, a, a T intersection. <laughs> okay. With lots of poop. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think I'm going to avoid the pile of shit. Okay. Are you sure? I, I think so. You better roll to make sure you are ready. <laughs> <laughs> Steps right in it. Oh. <laughs> That'll so, hog up the gears. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's the T intersection. Yeah. Is the you are not facing the T. You're on one of the branches. Yeah, I'm on one of the branches. Yeah. Okay. So knowing what I came from, knowing the room that I originally came from, I'm going to continue walking forward, avoiding the shit. Okay. That, I'm not going to make your roll to avoid walking in poop. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, I would assume that would be an acrobatics, which is pretty decent for me, so... But I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> you, you end up in the same room as uh, Roland and Kastara. Is Roland still dancing? Roland is definitely, most definitely still dancing. That's a good thing. Um, <laughs> the goat is like... Making more piles of poop. <laughs> <laughs> it hasn't eaten anything that anyone can see, but it's making poop. So there's that. Well, we can always throw poop at them. <laughs> yes, we are. That's the monkey's answer. <laughs> but you see, you see Druid. Uh, you see the Druid from before. You know his name to be Roland, and you see the, the Rogue from before, Kastara. You know, you, and you've seen. Her. She's just standing. But Roland and four goblins are doing the strangest <laughs> eating ritual that you have ever encountered <laughs> among meat bags. So I'm assuming I'm going to need a saving throw here. Yeah. <laughs> and what kind of a saving throw was it again? Charisma. Oh, that's going to be a nine. A nine, you're fine. Okay, cool. <laughs> DC five. Yeah, you got to beat a three. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> oh, you beat a three. Okay. <laughs> yep. They rolled a four. They have minus one of their charisma. <laughs> At least it's I rolled a three two. and have minus two. <laughs> I'm uglier than the goblins. <laughs> Aww. See what war does to you? <laughs> I'm gonna sit down next to Kastara. Okay. So Kastara, the Warforge enters the room and then sits down next to you. What do you want to do? Hi! Where did you show up from? Down that hallway? He points to the door of that. Roland entered from. That Roland entered from. Okay. There's another room over in that way. Something magical and blue fire. <laughs> <laughs> also some dead snakes. Lizard things. Ah. Huh. Scaly creatures. Yeah, scaly things. Scaly meat bags. Scaly meat bags. Little scaly meat bags. The goblins stop dancing. Lizard's lizard? Lizard's lizard? What? Come, come! That's, that's, that's his name. Okay then. Rakanishu? Rajana? Rishu? The other's names. Brick? Brick! Gob drop. Gob drop. <laughs> he starts dancing again. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Hungry! Meat what? fluffy. Fluffy? Is yep. that the thing responsible for all the feces? Yes. <laughs> That'll come in handy when we meet an orc. <laughs> orc? <laughs> where? Orc, where? We where? 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 No, no, no. Okay. No. Job drop. No. <laughs> job drop. Hungry? Yeah. What? Lizard? Lizard's lizard? Lizard's lizard. Meat? See. Job drop. Rock and issue. Rush on up. We shoot. Lizard's lizard. And they all book it out of that room. <laughs> I choose to continue to dance. <laughs> I'm calling it. I can't, I can't compose myself after that. <laughs> So, Anyways, we're all about like five minutes after the goblins run away, three of them come back. Which ones come back? Rakanishu, Rishana, and Rishu. No! Don't <laughs> drop! So they can't talk to us now. They are, they are gesticulating wildly towards the other end of the corridor. Pointing. Yeah. 
I roll my eyes and start pushing on Roland. Well, I'm paying attention to this, even though I'm dancing. Oh, uh, but no, I, you need to stop. <laughs> so, I stop dancing. <gasps> what is the floor like? Large flagstones. There's not, like, enough dust or anything for me to draw in. Oh. Sure. But you'd have to go, to like, one of the sides or corners where no, no traffic has been. So I have Draw the goblins the come over to a corner. I make a few marks in the dirt. How are, you, how are you trying to get them to come to a corner? I just... Okay. Have them come over to the door corner. I make a few marks to show that I you can draw in the dirt and <laughs> say, you know, tell us, show us. What are you trying to say? Give me an intelligence check. On me? Yes. Okay, let me pull up a different sheet. Right over there. There's three of them. So we'll say... Can you shoot out? Fifteen. Oh, that one's uh, okay, so... Rock and issue. Um, goes, <laughs> and he goes over to um, the corner there, and he draws like he draws like the corridor, and then a room, and then he draws like a stick figure that's short, and then he draws like you know a very crude like W almost type thing. I mean, it's like. And starts going weird, and then there's like X's over the short stick figure. Okay, so his buddy died in there from something. Possibly. From a W. From the W. The W killed. Drop drop. <laughs> hey man, letters are dangerous. <laughs> I mean, come on, words hard, English difficult. Yeah, their challenge rating is like 170. Shit. <laughs> So, Are you sure it's not 26? Does anybody understand this drawing or know about this room? Roll insight. There is blue magical fire. He's been there, that's why I asked. Okay. Mm, that's right. I saw blue magical fire. Okay, did you sense anything? Did you see I felt did magic feel as I walked by. But nothing happened to you. Nothing happened to me. I know, Lou. You're upset about being asleep. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> um, I'm just letting you know I'm sleeping. Oh, I know you're asleep, baby. Okay, you've been in the room. Yeah. Supposedly, their guy <clears throat> is either badly injured or dead in the room from some W. I know nothing about a W. Do you recommend we go back there or not? Because you've been there. Nothing happened to me is the problem. But you're the only one that has knowledge of it. These guys have knowledge of it, but they can't tell us anything about this picture. We could go and investigate. Doesn't sound like a terrible idea. Okay, let's do it. Shall we possibly draw, ask them if they have... Do... Well, they... Go ahead, sorry. No, go ahead. Because I just remembered that that's not going to work anyway, so go ahead. <laughs> Does it seem that they understand common? Um, no. It, it seems like they they know certain words, but, like, they're it's very, very crude understanding, if at all. Okay. They're, they, like, they get gestures and things that are, like, common or universal, like, come here or go there or stop or things like that. Okay. So, there's not going to be an easy way to communicate with them. No. Do we want the goblins to come with well, us? Well, does anybody speak goblin? No. It doesn't appear that we can tell them to come with us or not anyway. Do we want them to come with us or not? We can attempt. Do we want them to stay Again, put? you're the only one out of our group with information about this room. This is up to you. Do you think they should come with us or not? So, I point to the three goblins. Mm -hmm. And point to the ground. With my hand up, like, stop. Okay, they salute you. In okay. A very, in a very comical goblin fashion. <laughs> One of them hits himself in the forehead a little too hard. And he falls <laughs> on his butt. <laughs> it's, 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 it's Rishu. Okay, 
Let's go. Okay. Going down the hallway. Okay. Stop next to the pile of crap. Okay. Kistara? Can I see that bone you have there? What are you gonna do with it? It's a femur bone. <laughs> From a human. Great. <laughs> yeah, uh, you can you can borrow it. Okay. You, you you don't wanna know. So I take it from her and I start moving the crap to the sides. Higher low for positive results. <laughs> Kevin, give him a higher low. Low. Forty one. Yeah. Okay, Lou. Higher low. Low. 81. You're still conscious. Kevin? Hmm. High or low? High. It's low. Neither of them are conscious. Yep. Kevin's unconscious? No, no, no that he was, was for the spider. For the spider. He wanted me to tell him high or low on the spider waking oh. up. Because yeah. it's a little cheaty if I, if I do it for myself. It's true. So while he's... Because I can gimmick it. <laughs> while he's... Rummaging through poo. <laughs> he doesn't really? find anything. Oh. Um. I do have the option to pick up another language. I don't actually remember why, but I wrote it down here. I think it's because you're human. Okay. Um. Would wanna, it be do you want feasible pick? that I could pick up common? She would not, or not goblin. common goblin. She would not have it from her background, though. It does say oh, that are there humans goblins, can are pick there up languages in that world. No. Then no. Okay. Yeah, see, I went with a language that made sense to my world, which I actually chose a separate dialect of Elven. Sylvanian or something like that. Sylvan? Yeah. Sylvan? Well, I chose to wait because it's... That's good. It's It's actually really good. Yeah. Yeah. Sylvan's sweet. Sylvan is my favorite language in in D&D. Well, I I chose to wait because it said something about... um, that I and I think it was humans. They pick tend to pick up whatever language they're around. So I figured at some point I'd be around the language long enough to pick it up. I mean, what other races are there in your, in your world? There really isn't. It's mostly just humans. Yeah. Um, there are different languages, but they're is there, all is human it a, languages. Is it a very magic heavy world? Yes. I mean, I'd probably say Elvish because that's the language of magic in D and D. Yeah. Um, I mean, magic is either written in Draconic or Elven, uh, with some very, very few times is it written in Dwarvish for, for specifically for like magical weapons and blood magic and well, blood magic. But that's because they're Dwarven. <sighs> dwarves, like are, themselves. dwarves are freaking crazy. <sighs> <laughs> oh, that's right. You guys never figured out what was going on with that. No, no, we didn't. Oh, that was great. Uh, All right, Anyways. I'm going to bring that back. Okay. All right, well... Rummaging through crap. If I can't we didn't communicate... You can find we, can, crap. Can we communicate with them by drawing in this area as well? In the Not poop. Not necessarily. <laughs> in the poop. Okay, then... then are, uh, can you draw, like, like a, a, a weapon and we can, like, point at it and be like, where okay. can we get one of these? Um... No? We have a weapon sitting in front of us. Yeah, we but it. more would be handy. By the way, I did, I you, your bone did you guys back. use a short rest when you were waiting around? I was assuming such. Okay, so that would be nice. So then roll your hit die if you want to regain health. Lou, you can take a short rest too if you want. You're you unconscious. That's fine. I don't actually know what my hit dice is. I didn't. Twenty-eight. Thank you. You're a rogue. Rogues are my bay. Hmm. Mooks are mine. <laughs> One. Three. Plus your constitution modifier. That's two. Woohoo! Your con is zero. Hmm? Your constitution modifier is yeah. zero, so you just get uh, three. Pencil piece. That's right. I'm a thief. <laughs> so, anyways. You're at full um, health, aren't you? Yes, yes, yes. 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 I, I got a goat. <laughs> I didn't find anything. I gotta go. <laughs> you totally found something. You found a goat. The goat is still following you. You could have followed if, the goat if you wanted to. 
But his name is. If Chris. I choose to use my shirt to carry something as a bag and set it on my goat's side for him to carry for me, is that something we can do? Yes, but I wouldn't recommend doing it like now. Because that'll take a long time for you to figure out, like just bushcraft style. Because, like, I mean, um, what are you, what are you thinking of using as a satchel? Your pants? My shirt, your shirt off his back. Like I said. <laughs> Bless you. What is your shirt made out of? Hemp. You. I'm, no, I'm asking. Cloth. I'm asking you. So it's made out of cloth. Because that's very prevalent where I come from. Okay. Is it more like a tabard? Is it like a pullover? Is it like a robe? What like is it a closed is it a t shirt? Yeah, I would say it's sort of a t shirt type thing. Okay. Um, you'd have to like either it either have to have sleeves long enough to knot off the holes. Okay. And then or you'd have to like knot off and you'd have to sew them together to create. So that's it'll just take time. So it's feasible. It's just, do you have the resources to do it, or do you have the time to do it? Because it'll take longer if you don't have needle and thread. Of course I don't. You took all my stuff. (laughs) (laughs) Um. You didn't take it. You lost it. What is the spacing between the T and the room that we're going to? Uh, More specifically, the flame. It's 50 feet from the flame... To think of concentric circles. Okay. So think like 25 feet from the beginning of the room to the one you're in. And it's 50 feet from the T intersection to each corner. Okay, so, so it's a 100 feet. foot room. Your 100 foot hallway and then a 25 foot corridor. Okay. So 75 feet away from the fire, specifically, roughly. Okay. Keep going. Keep going, we go. Leading the way. Hi ho, hi ho. Stop the flame, we go. So you guys get to the room with the flame, and you don't see a corpse on the floor. But, uh, give me a perception check. 23. Okay. Two. Twenty-eight. <laughs> Twenty-three and twenty-eight. All right. so, <laughs> don't forget the two. <laughs> she just forgot her second digit. It's okay. Yeah. Um, you've been in this room before, Brick, so you recognize that the flame is like twice as large as it used to be. Okay. It used to be like a two-foot flame, like diameter. If you know you want to use the top, so the flames as like one of the ends and then and whatnot. Yeah. Now it's like four feet in diameter. So, that's a lot bigger than it was last time. Okay. Um, you notice... Was it 28? Yes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I rolled a 19. What do you want? <laughs> I want you to fail everything. That's what I want. I'm a DM. You're not like you said, the lowest this. I can get is 10. Look, you're not allowed to have nice things. That's, <laughs> that's I know, that's why you took them. I've got one good stat. Let me use it. <laughs> <laughs> you also have the goat now, so. <laughs> and I gotta go. The goat's in this thing, right? Is the goat with us? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, the goat's just mindlessly following me at this point. Yeah, until it gets like attacked by something, in which case it's gonna run away and he's gonna have to chase the answer and find it again. <laughs> if I choose to. <laughs> <laughs> you could right. not- I love the animal just God. follow the crowd. <laughs> 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 it's a goat. Um, are you, did you guys enter the room or are you just kind of like opening the door and peeking through? I would assume he's in the I'm lead gonna since he knows the room. the room. Okay, you've experienced this before. <laughs> you know it's coming. Give me a wisdom saving throw with advantage. Well, it says 19 and a 17. Okay. So, a total of 22 and 20. Once again, you feel like some sort of weird magic come over you, and uh, you get the sensation. It's just like... It's like your energy is like, going to be sucked away from you, and then it's suddenly just like... You just like shrug it off, just like man, I ain't got time for that shit. <clears throat> but like, you start to feel a little bit fatigued, and then you you shrug it off, and then you're fine. Okay. Um, with a twenty-eight, you recognize 
you actually recognize the face of um Gubdrop? Gubdrop. In the flames. Okay. His face is in the flame. Whose face? Gubdrop. Does he notice anything? Why? Is there yeah. other stuff I notice? Do I notice anything in like the far corners? Of it's the like it, it's like when you're looking at constellations of stars and uh-huh. you don't recognize constellations, but you recognize like the Big Dipper. Okay. So it's like there's a whole bunch of random chaos, but you can see one of the things. A little higher low. Hi. Uh, it's an eight. Kevin. Hi. <laughs> 63. Okay. I'm being mowed on by the fucking spider. Remember how you're holding it. It's true. <laughs> Let's see if it's going to be able to move. <laughs> okay. If you guys are going to come in, be careful. The magic is strong. The force is strong in this room. What is force? <laughs> uh, Kevin, force is actually mass times speed accelerated. Or mass, mass times time acceleration, acceleration squared. Okay, geek boy. <laughs> hey, that's why I say the Flash is one of the is the most one of the most underrated superheroes. Yeah, he should be hitting a lot harder than they hit, hit in the comics. Like he mm-hmm. could punch as hard if not harder than Superman. He could definitely hit harder than Superman. Would it also hurt him? Worse though. Oh yeah. In theory, yeah. <laughs> like he will shatter his hand, oh. but he can continue to beat the crap out of you. <laughs> All right, I choose to enter the room. Okay, give me wisdom saving throw. Eight plus. Well, six plus two. Eight. Is, is wisdom one of your oh, saving? Oh, saving. Yes. Yeah, so that's throw. four. Okay, so that's ten. Ten. Yeah. Okay. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you, uh, you feel like this energy start to, like, leach from your body, mm-hmm. um, and it feels like your magic is, like, being sealed away. Okay. Um, and you try to shrug it off, and you don't really succeed, and it kind of, like, messes with your brain a little bit. Oh, everything's doing that to me today, so. And so I need you to give me another wisdom saving throw. 15, 19. Okay, you don't go insane. Oh, come on! I heard <laughs> So I'm going to slowly approach the fire. Okay. You approach the fire. Okay. How close are you willing to go? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm, no. assu- I'm assuming with, with within a rational distance. Like, yeah. Once you start getting hot, you start back not moving yeah, as close. Exactly. If I start getting okay. warm, I'm going to stop moving towards the fire. Yeah, it's legitimately okay. hot. Okay. Um... It's a blue flame, I would assume it is. Well, yeah. By the power of the blue flame. I'm gonna look around for footsteps, like goblin footsteps. Okay. With a 19. Okay, you noticed that there was goblin footsteps entering the room, and it got like two feet in the room, and then they disappeared. Just straight up disappeared? Just or straight up not so there. So none near the fire at all? Didn't even get close to the fire. Okay. Cup drop, why? <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so you guys see, like, the fire start to, like, change shape a little bit okay. into, to, to more of the shape of Gub Drub. And he's just like. And he does that for like. Say it isn't so. Dolgy was in there. (laughs) (laughs) Um, And you can see like the fire begin to coalesce into Gubdrib, Gubdrib shape. And then uh, he maintains the shape again for a while. Gubdrub became strong. I don't have knowledges. <laughs> they don't even really have like knowledges in D and D. Well, the intelligence stats are the knowledges. Yeah, the Arcana history, and this, not 
Arcana history. So we're looking at some form of a magic flame. Can we talk? We're holding a acquaintance. Got drunk. Uh, he, um, he keeps wailing high pitched like I'm not doing wailing. it again. <laughs> All he does is wail. I mean, he's no, he's, no he's coalesced the shape of a fire into his form. That's pretty impressive for a goblin. <laughs> <It is pretty laughs> impressive. This is why the guy knows more than one language. <laughs> um. So just be glad it wasn't Rishu. <laughs> he's a little bigger. What do you guys think we have to do? Do we have to stop the flame, or do we have um, to separate him from the flame? I don't know. I'm gonna go to the other side of the pillar. Okay. This is the first time that any of you have gone to the other side of the pillar. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> What's on the other side of the pillar? There's a bronze sconce. And, again, it is in the same fashion as, like... Uh, a very ancient civilization. It's very different from the one you're used to. I grab it. Okay. You pull gra- it. Nothing happens. I turn twisted. Nothing happens. <laughs> I push it. Nothing happens. I light it. There's not a torch in there. <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody have something we can light on fire? I produce flame. Anything we we can light on fire. I like that. I produce. I tell you to come here. (laughs) Pass. You're gonna rip up yet another. Then I hold out the flame longer, and I say, "That's the closest we got right now." (laughs) I'm gonna gonna rip up yet another piece of clothing. Okay. Put it in the sconce. Okay. And light it. Okay. Uh. Everybody give me a wisdom saving throw. I got a natural 20. Nice. Ouch. Eight. No, seven. Eight? Seven. Okay. Everyone who got above a 15 takes half of this damage. Oh, this is going to be painful. Uh, Mm. I was too stupid to take damage. If you... (laughs) (laughs) If you you don't save, you take the full damage. Ah. (laughs) So those of you who save take four, and those of you who failed take eight. Okay. I'm down. Are you still conscious? Yes. This is is psychic damage. Okay. Um, And you you guys hear a horrible, like, screaming and tearing... Um, those of you who are tuned with the weave of magic feel as if, like, realms are splitting. Like, there is something horrifying happening in terms of magic uh, on the other side of the pillar. And you hear a thud, af- and then shortly after that you hear <laughs> And it's enough to wake you up, Lou. <laughs> <laughs> Did someone cast Thunder Wave? <laughs> <laughs> no, but they might as well have. <laughs> um, well, I'm assuming. Well, no, hold on. Let's go back. Let's go back to uh, the column, right? Yeah. Um, so the are you guys like trying to peek around the column, like to see what the heck just happened? Well, I I just um, love the fire. I don't think they followed me. They're still up with the fire. I'm gonna cast cure wounds on myself. Okay. What's what's the components for cure wounds? I didn't realize it had components. Hold on. Uh, every spell has components. components. V and S. So verbal and somatic. So you don't need material components. Mm-hmm. I tried to actually pick things that didn't need material. Components. Are you alive? No. You're unconscious. I'm unconscious. So it's one d eight plus, plus my wisdom modifier. Mo- wisdom modifier. My wisdom modifier. Well, it doesn't matter. I rolled an eight. So you rolled. Yeah, you're back. To you rolled ten. Yeah, but I only lost eight points. Yeah. Yeah. So. You see, Kistara is unconscious. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, anyways, uh, you also notice that uh, Gubdrub is on the floor. Um, but Gubdrub is not the same as it used to be. Um, half of his body is a skeleton. And where his flesh used to be on that skeleton, it is now a blue flame. And it the rest of the, the f- gub drop that I used to know. 
So she's on the floor unconscious. Gubdrub is on the floor unconscious. Gubdrub is on the floor unconscious. And it's pulling the two-face. Okay. Gubdrub's half in blue flame. Yes. At this point, since he just came out of the fire, I'm assuming he's just still on fire and dead. Okay. Because I don't think he's moving. No, he's not. And I'm not... So I would go over to her... And she's unconscious because she got hit? She mm-hmm. took, she, everybody took damage. So would uh, another cast of Cure Wounds wake her? Yeah. Okay. Let's do Cure Wounds on her, then. Okay. So roll And he's fine. Yeah, well, well, I don't think Cure I mean, Wounds would work on him anyway. So It does. It does. But... <laughs> <laughs> well, we, it's because we, we it's magic. <laughs> yeah. yeah, whatever. We, we looked it up. We looked at the healing rules for a Warforged. So, so and it's my game. wisdom modifier? So, plus two, yeah. So, I got four on you. So, four total? Four total. Okay. I rolled a two on that one. That one kind of sucked. Yeah. It's cure wounds that happens. It does. But at you least know, um, she's alive. In, and now, in order to get that back, I need a long rest. In additions past, uh, Warforges were healed magically for half damage. Um, mainly because it was a specific ruling. Uh, there is no such ruling in fifth. Or okay. Warforged were also a lot more broken. Yeah. In Warforges were stupid good in previous yeah. editions. Ah. They got an extreme nerf. So. Yeah. Like they're they're barely better than anything. Like the, the the only benefit to being a Warforged is you get plus one to your AC racially. Mm. And to be honest, like the Tiefling has better racial stats. Because mm. the Tiefling at third level can cast uh, Hellish Rebuke at second level, <laughs> whenever they want. <laughs> Once per day. Okay. Once per day, but whenever they want, if they get hit. And yeah. So it's just like, okay, I'm gonna do three d ten worth of damage to you because you hit me. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, do I have, <coughs> you have four, four hit points? Okay. I was wondering if I just come alive or yeah. If... No, it, it's okay. it's magic. It's magical. You are back to full health, or well, you're back to whatever you were healed. You have right. four health. Yeah. Four. Okay. So you have four health. You're you you know you were unconscious. You know you took damage, and now you're back up because of magic. Okay. So yeah. Uh, there is a torch in the sconce that replaced your your cloth, and it has a blue flame on it. Hey guys. Do you want to investigate the torch? Yeah, I'm gonna investigate I the would torch do while I tell them to come back and look at this. Okay. That's not good. That is a 12 to look at the torch. Okay. You notice that the torch is not made out of wood. And it doesn't have any, like, any sort of, like, flammable material. Okay. Well, I, I do know that it is currently burning flesh and bone. The flame is because of our little buddy on the ground over there. Mm-hmm. So, does it have any flesh or bone on it? Uh, give me an investigation check. Not a perception. Do I have? I do. That one's not bad. Either. 25. 25. Jeez. I rolled a natural 20 and I get plus 5. Okay, mm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's made out of bone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> when he rolls good, he rolls good. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's made out of bone and there's actually some a lot of magical runes carved onto the bone. Okay. Do we wish to take this with us? Or Are you willing to attempt to touch it? I don't know. <laughs> That's why I'm asking. I'm not. So I'm asking the question to you. I was there. I'm I not going to it up. Speaking of Alberon, how you doing, buddy? What are you going to do to me? <laughs> <laughs> Kill you. That's what I figured. So you become conscious due to this like crazy, ridiculous, like loud explosion. Okay. Um, you're cuddling a spider. It has not managed to get free. But you are cuddling a spider. Okay. That is freaking out. That really is trying to stab you to death with its fangs, but you have managed to restrain it in such a way that it's impossible. 
Um, the majority of your pants are covered in silk because it's been spraying silk like crazy trying to get away from you. <laughs> and it's just like been failing utterly because it's like a four foot spider, right? So oh. you're, yeah, like you're able to like manhandle it enough. It's not huge. I mean, it's a four foot spider. So, I mean, that's pretty huge. That's pretty big. But it's not size huge. No, it's, it's not size, size medium. Huge. It's size medium. Or small. Maybe. It has a damage dice of small, size small. <sighs> well, I'm going to sit there and try to slam it. Okay, so contested strength roll. 12. 2. <laughs> <laughs> you do one point of damage to the spider it starts to freak out it's its turn it wants to break free of your grapple so it's going to do a contested strength nine crit oh <laughs> dead was uh, it a crit success though it was, a, it was a natural 20. Oh, damn. <laughs> I mean, crit could be a 1. <laughs> yeah, it's a natural 20. Uh, so it breaks free, um, but that's a, its turn, and it actually spends its turn running like hell. <laughs> and there's a good reason why it's running like hell. Um, in fact, you witness that the spider is running t away from you, um, from the T-intersection, and it's running not towards the main room. But it's running towards the one of the corners, and you see behind you. It's going east or west. So it's going west, okay. and it, coming from the east corridor, you see a skeleton with a bow pull back and fire an arrow at this this biter, killing it. And let's go back to the rest of the party. <laughs> <laughs> so, I would like to um, touch. So, Gobdrop is burning on one half. Yeah. And the other half is untouched. Uh, yeah. Going to attempt to touch the untouched half of Gobdrop. Okay. Feels like goblin flesh. It's a jelly bag. So I'm going to go down the hallway and grab a couple of the snakes. The lizards? Lizards. Okay. Go back to Gobdrop, drag him, and tell, um, and say to the party that uh, we need to take him back to his friends. Okay. So you grab some lizards. I grab some lizards. Okay. How many do you grab? There was nine. There's nine total. of them, and there's three goblins. Yeah. How many can I, do you think I can carry with one of them? Uh, they are six feet long and four, three feet tall, if I remember. Actually, I think they were like nine feet long. Yeah, they're extremely long. They're like, yeah. they have, they tails. Were, they they have mean, tails, right? Yeah. I'm going to grab three of them by the tail and drag them. Okay, what's your strength? Well, Because these guys are heavy. These guys are heavy. So uh, give me a strength check. Okay. Athletics. Oh, that's a 19. <laughs> that'll <do. laughs> that's going to be a 22. <laughs> that'll do, pig. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm going to drag three of them. Okay. And then we need to take Gobdrop back to his friends. By the time you get Gobdrop back to his, his friends, the fire has gone out. Okay. From put the, I put a lizard down in front of each of them. Okay. Food. Lizard's lizard! <laughs> lizard's lizard! Lizard's lizard! Gobdrop! <laughs> <clears throat> what are the rest of you guys doing? No, uh, whatever. I got a question. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did the boom kill the goat? Nope. Okay. Did the boom scare the goat? Yep. <laughs> where is so the, the goat? goat's gone. <laughs> yeah, you don't know where he is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the goat's gone for now. He's uh -huh. back to the pile of crap. <laughs> as far as I know, I'm still looking at this torch. Yeah. It's made of bone and has a blue flame. Yep, it looks like it was Scrimshaw. 
Remind me again what that is. Scrimshaw is like whale bone or like, it's a cephalopod bone, right? So okay. it's like, or not cephalopod, cetaceans. So dolphins, whales, anything like that, walrus tusks. Well, the only guy made of flesh just left. Not made or of flesh. Or not a f- made of flesh just left. Yeah. And so that leaves us two with flesh, and I'm actually, not Actually, sure I followed him, so. Okay, so I'm here alone now. Well, and that's also assuming that you waited for me to do all of that. Like, I went, got lizards, came back, grabbed cop drop, and went. <laughs> you're really fast. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that's assuming that you let all that time pass while you're just staring at it. It took him about, like, four to six turns to do that. I would uh, like to rip the sleeve off of my shirt. Okay. And wrap it around my hand and attempt to grab the torch. Okay. You ready for this? You going to take four points of fire damage. That was what I would thought would happen. But you managed to grab the torch. So am well, I holding are you, the are torch? You, okay, no, I'm sorry. <clears throat> How are you? Like, I'm assuming that you're being a dumbass and you're grabbing the torch by the fire bit. Hell no. <laughs> I would okay. grab it by the handle, you idiot. <laughs> I was gonna grab it by the bone bit. <laughs> so you grab it by the bone bit. You don't would, take you don't take any damage. I would grab it by the bone bit and see if I could pick it up and take it out of there. Okay, you you try to pick it up and it, it's giving you resistance. It doesn't move. It doesn't move. It does not move out of the sconce. Give me a perception check. Or investigation. Which I wanted. Perception it is. <laughs> yeah, perception. <laughs> Perception. Because I rolled a four, so it's thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. You notice that there's like um, bolts in the sconce, like going through the torch. So it's bolted in. So there's no way I'm going to pull it out with my hand. Yeah. Okay. I'll release it and take my cloth with me. Okie dokie. Um. I assume we're doing this while he's getting lizards. Yeah, he just, like, passed through the room. With I do have some room. medicine skill. Okay. Could I use this piece of cloth I have to help heal her up more? Uh, if you had, Bandager. Like, if you had, like, poultices and stuff. I mean, she took psychic damage. So, like, she's bleeding out of her ears and her nose. And her eyes Plug up her ears. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to listen to them anyway, Scott. <laughs> okay, never mind. I guess that's all I can do then. Okay. Alberon. Yes. What's happening, buddy? Well, I got a question for you. You want to fight a Skelly Bob all by yourself with one HP? <laughs> Two. Uh, no, three. Sorry, three. Three HP. You just kill. Well, my question. For you. Um, eh. what language does it speak? It's not speaking. It is covered in blue flame, though, specifically around its crown. Did no I forget offense. to mention that there's a crown that's yes. covered in blue flame? You did, you <laughs> did forget to. No mention. offense, <laughs> but a recommendation I would have if I was in your situation, Medigan. I would go back to the white room. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you got a spider one direction, you got a skeleton dead. the other. Spider was one shot, full HP. Well, you still don't know what's in that room, though. I, I'm going to first attempt to speak to it. In what language? Well, I speak one, two, three, five languages. You speak two of them. What you okay, I'm going to try and speak to it in Infernal. Okay. Um, infernal Uncommon? So it responds to you in a language you don't really understand. Uh, but you will someday. <laughs> <laughs> and it pulls back another arrow on its bow. We're going to cast Charm Person on it. Damn. Mm-hmm. I think he was hoping you wouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not even that. Because it says here in Charm Person, Scary too. what's the uh, components of the Charm Person, bro? Verbal and semantic. Okay. So what do I got to do? Um, wisdom saving throw. Okay. What's your DC? Uh, 13. We've got a four, 15 on the die minus one is 14. Dude, come here and look. 
No, no. I'm... <laughs> Every time I throw a spell, I. No, no, no. I'm just saying. It seems like <laughs> I can't. I'm not DM. Everybody has a shit. bad day. Yeah, I'm having a bad day. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot me. So it's pulled an arrow back, and it releases, and you see the arrow coming towards you, and you see the arrow miss, and it goes into the other room that has, the door has just opened, and you hear a yelping sound inside that room. <laughs> 